So starting off front page review with The Nation, major headline. No room for subversive moves, federal government warns. Attorney General says treasonable act will be met with full weight of law. In other news, OVH acquisition, a business decision, says NNPCL. First Lady gives, that's a picture story, First Lady gives 1.85 billion Naira grant to 37 women petty traders. And um, we also have the story of the minister asked to meet on Monday over strike threats. Government raises panel on issues. I wonder. Budget 2025 to focus on essential projects. Um, target is full funding. Ongoing road work will be complete, says Omai. 51% of farming areas threatened by flooding. Um, copyright agencies seize suspected pirate book worth 50 million in Lagos. What story are we starting with? So let's start with the um, ASU story. The yes, Fed, yes, yes. The, so they are threatening. ASU is threatening to, you know, go back, you know, start the strike again. They are giving an ultimatum. So the federal government has scheduled a meeting with academic staff union of investors, ASU, to address the demands of the varsity teachers. Education Minister Prof. Tahi Maman has said he spoke yesterday on a de television program in response to ASU 21-day ultimatum for the government to revisit the controversial 2009 agreement or the varsity lecturers will down tools. But he's also pleading with um, um, us that even though the government wants to do meet all their needs, they should be understanding of the fact that government can't do everything at the same time because they also have competing needs of other sectors. He's also saying that they should um, uh, be pragmatic and show understanding in terms of things that are doable now things that will be a short term, um, that will be short term, and things that also take um, long term. But ASU is saying that they need to, they need the government to revisit most of their demands that they've talked about, which are, one, that um, there should be conclusion of the renegotiation of the FGN and ASU agreement based on Nimi Briggs commitments draft agreement of 2021, that they should release of uh, the sh release of withheld three and a half month salaries on account of 2022 strike action. That in this, I'm sure this is the main one because they've been going on about this one. Mm. Release of unpaid salaries of staff on sabbatical, part time, and adjunct appointments owing to the application of integrated payroll and personal information systems. Release of outstanding third party deductions such as check off dues and cooperative contributions, funding for revisitation of public investors, then end academic allowance partly captured in 2023 federal government budget. Also, proliferation of um, investors by federal and state governments, implementation of the, of the reports of visitation panels to investors, that these are the things they're asking for. And that the federal government, even though they're saying that they can't do everything at the same time, they need to sort out certain things, even if it's the salaries. Okay, I, mean, I, was, I, would, I would love for minister to, the Minister of Education to say what they have done since mm -hmm. they called off the strike, like mm -hmm. list the things you have done, so, so that we, we can know who we are siding in this... Um, Yes. But so I took a very long. interesting story, Please. and I think it can, it can be a hot topic. Um, it says NCC confiscates 50 million Naira pirated books and arrest suspects. Um, the Nigerian Copyright Commission, NCC, has confiscated suspected pirated books worth 50 million and arrested suspected pirates as part of its mandate to regulate the copyright industry in Nigeria by reducing the level of piracy to the barest minimum. Um, they carried out uh, an anti-piracy action in Yaba book markets oh. yesterday. I mean, obviously. Um, so the team, they said, was led by their deputy director. They went to um, five bookshops and three warehouses. And, and they also arrested, you know, a few people as well, uh, uh, bookshop owners. In fact, the names of the bookshops are here. Chokes Bookshop, Number 7, Lisabi Street, Ebuka Bookshop. I mean, I know that area a lot. We know that they sell, pirated. that's what they do, sell pirated books. Now, for me, what I, find good, what I find interesting is, just this morning, I'd seen some, like a meme, someone says, what is a scam that has just become, like we have forgotten it's a scam. Mm. So this is now a culture. We know these are pirated books, but schools even mm, use them. Really do, you, do you understand? That it's become almost second I, nature. I think that we should talk to the person. We, we can, can discuss use, it as a yeah, proper topic. topic. So yeah. for me, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to send a message about piracy, but then 
Yeah. They will print, they'll print, they'll print and another set again. The value and mm. money from you know their work. As a book, as a book yeah. seller myself. Yes, yeah, so very important that my we speak up concerning carry. this as <laughs> authors inside this published <laughs> authors according to Moraya. Moving on to the um, punch major headline: Landowners sue federal government over 15 trillion naira Lagos Calaba Highway. My vows to continue projects insist government paying compensation. There's a picture story about. Um, um, a book launch, judging justice, and this is with it has the EFCC chairman, it has the Ogun State Governor, Minister of FCT Justice Kudira um, um, the then the former head of state Abdul Salami, um, and this is at the book launch of which is the autobiography of Justice Ulukayo the Ariwola in Abuja um, on Thursday yesterday. Then let's go into the headlines, other headlines. Dangote refinery begins petrol production test run. We have been waiting. Like, I think Dangote has this corner piece in punch. Every day we take a story from Dangote. Tinobu cuts short France trips, swears in CJN. NNPC director's expenses jump by 214%, says report. Minister writes finance ministry over Sanu Nasu with health salaries. Six NSAS protesters freed after four years' detention. Bandits skill 13 farmers alleged leaked information. Then Labour Party denies APC alliance. And um, finally, APC campaign built on lies SPDP. That's regarding the Edo governor polls. So what story are we taking? I have the story of the six NSAS protesters freed because I think it's one of the things that the Nigerian youth, even with this end bad government mm, um, mm, protest, mm, we mm, clamored mm. for that they should free the previous um, protesters. And this one says that um, a Lagos State Magistrate Court in Ogba has discharged six men who were arrested during the 2020 NSAS protest and have spent almost four years in prison. The wow. defendants identified as Daniel Joibo, Adigun Sadiq, Kende Shola, Salaudin, Kamilu, Sadiq Husseini and Aziz Isiaka were set free by Magistrate Bolanli Oshosami on Thursday after being cautioned. The defendants were discharged after pleading guilty to a single amended charge brought against them by the Lagos state government. And these charges were dated August 22. The charge dated August 22, 2024, accused them of conducting themselves in a manner likely to cause a breach of peace, a violation under the Section 168D of the Criminal Law of Lagos State. 2015 and um, this one uh, it's um, it's a happy thing for me because at least some of them some people during the protest just heard that there was a protest generally and they went to join them mm. they necessarily did not even have any in linking on what was happening or they were not part of the plan but they just said oh they protest them they are pawns in the you game. understand and they were eventually apprehended but it's a good thing that they are being freed do after four years of just mm. staying there and waiting and hoping. And we still have a lot of people in the Nigerian correctional facilities scattered all over Nigeria who are that. waiting trial, who has not even though. gone to court. So I think that it would be best that the CGN, the new CGN, visits all these stories yeah. across board to see how they can help people come out of the crime that they really know nothing about. I'll take a quick story before we go on break. NNPC, um, the NNPC director's expenses jumped by 214% to $2.6 billion. So this report is detailing um, what, what the, the financial statement in 2023. And they, they, they recorded that there was a 214% increase in the expense of just directors. The directors of the company, as well as they wrote, um, um, they did not reveal the number of the directors that got this increase. And I think it's extremely important because for business owners, you need to track and um, track the percentage increase of your expense. I had to sit down on petty cash and did the tracking and realized the things I needed to cut. And there are things that you might cut. They said they spent 8 billion naira in one year on bank charges. Mm -hmm. We can look back and say, okay, can we renegotiate with our bankers? Can we get everybody to use just one bank? So we're paying less bank charges instead of doing um, interbank inter transfers. transfers. Studying the number is very important. And I think NNPCL might need to speak more English to explain to us why this increase has happened and how they're going to cut this increase in 2024.